notice something? I always get nervous on anniversary shows. Yeah. I do. I get nervous when, yeah. we, when we have an anniversary, and I don't know why. And it's something I think the audience, there's something about the audience as well. They feel a little something you get, special. You get charged up? Yeah, just a little bit, and I think that uh, it affects them. That's why some of the first of your jokes in the monologue did not get the screaming response that they might otherwise have gotten. This is just an ordinary Wednesday night. They'd have gangbusters. <laughs> I just dropped in because I'd, I'd come to wish you a happy anniversary, but uh, it seems to me it's impossible for you to have an anniversary. You've only been married seven months. Welcome to the club. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, you know, I watch you every time you're on. What are you on? Uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays? Tuesdays, Wednesdays. 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 <laughs> Thursday. No, you're not on all those nights. Joey Bishop's on all Joy, those nights. Joey comes in occasionally. Joey yeah. comes in, but, uh, and you always do that, and you, the monologue, which you always do, and it bombs every night. I like that. What do you mean, bombs every night? Well, it wasn't too good tonight. No, I'm not too good. I was backstage, and I saw, you know, and you swing. Yeah. What club is it that you use? I don't, I don't know what it is. Every night I watch, I want to know what club it is. Is it a Tylerist or a Wilson? It's what? a Niblick. It's a nib. what? Remember a Niblick? No. Remember, it's an old Niblick. It used to be like a spoon. But I always try to look for the club, and I can't see it, so <laughs> that's why I switched <laughs> to this. I can't see it, but I, I only say, want to say happy anniversary. Hi, guys. And uh, I'm on my way. i got to have dinner with Yule Gibbons, as you were talking about. But I do, because I've got to go to George uh, Montgomery's house. We're going to eat some furniture. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm late, and Yule's in the car. You I know. didn't know that. You don't get. You don't go out often. I know that. Go I don't the leave the Bel Air gates and, too many times. And, and, and you know. go to many shows, and I appreciate this. Now, well, I don't like many shows. Can I disprove something <laughs> once and for all? What? They make jokes about you drinking, like I make jokes about Ed. Can I? That's may I? May excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> You were dangling a participle, and I just found it. Well, I'll wear a long coat, and nobody will notice it. <laughs> you, you ever thought of getting a partner again? Oh, no, Come no. On. No, I tried Linda Lovelace, but she said she had it up to here. <laughs> I didn't know that. She didn't want to be with me. She just got divorced this week. Did you know that? Oh, I want to wish her or whoever gets her a lot of luck. Ah! <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> no, I don't kid around. Oh, no, no, that's <laughs> no. When I drink, I drink. That's all I gotta say. Well, that's real nice of you to come over here. But it's you? sweet of you to come over and wish. Me... No, I'm glad. <laughs> you're here. And it was my pleasure to come here. And, uh, I don't know wh why I was. <laughs> well, but I do watch you every night. You were in the you, building anyway. No, but it's you. You are something. For 11 years, you have been something. What you are, I don't know. <laughs> but he's the nicest guy. What are you doing? Oh, you're not supposed to be out here. You know you look like an awning. Yeah, I'm yawning too. Well, no, what are you on? on? No, I, I have to run. I know you do. I, I, do, I, have to I know run. you're down the Where are you hall, going, Dean? Well, you will give him this way. He's waiting call. in the car. Uh, We're going to eat some furniture. And George you're not and supposed to be out style. here yet. I'm not? No. Where do you want me? Go, go sit that Why don't you taste what he's drinking? Because it's power. I know what they do. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. I didn't mean that when you say you're not supposed to be here. You can come out on the, tonight. Anytime you want to come out, you can come out. Gee, and 11 I, years just whipped right by like a century. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I start to figure out, and uh, you know, 
I started to figure out when I first come on, and I didn't come on until you were after, after you had already been on for two years. Is that right? Yeah, and you know, it was such a stupid thing. I felt a loyalty to Jack Pa, because I'd been on with him so much. Yeah. And the first two years you were on, I'm thinking, gee, what a nice guy. I like to know that guy. And I didn't want to go on because I was loyal to Jack Pa. Right. And he didn't talk to me. <laughs> Never talked to you after no, the show no, was on? No, no, he, he got mad at me because me and Eddie Fisher was opening a, a somewhere, and I went on somewhere and promoted something, and he was on with Joey, and he'd stop to, he said I did it on purpose. Yeah. Well, I didn't do it, I did it on purpose because I wanted to sell some tickets for me and Eddie. Right. Because Eddie hadn't been married lately. <laughs> and Did you save up all the spiteful audiences from the <laughs> You Look, you better smarten up because I'll say a few things. No, 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 don't start. <laughs> don't, no, don't. <laughs> I, I, did you hear what happened with this guy? I'm it was a that... terrific thing. I'm going to try and tell it in a way that they can't bleep it, but I doubt it. <laughs> See, this guy says that he says to another guy, uh, he says, every time I sneeze, I have this complete gratification that comes from a way of having connubial fulfillment. <laughs> mm -hmm. He says, you mean every time you sneeze, you have a complete feeling as though you and someone you are closely related with through marriage, had experienced many uh, moments of uh, gymnastics? <laughs> he said, yes. He says, each time you sneeze, he says, he says what do you take him for it? He said, pepper. <laughs> oh, close. We'll be right back. Trying to bleep that, After a word ass. from the... <laughs> from the Zellanese play. Welcome back. Buddy Hackett is here. <laughs> Boy, when this, you get this, a... It's going to be a night, isn't it? When you get a dead crowd like that to applaud. No, this is not a dead <laughs> crowd. <laughs> No. Well, well, they they ain't dead. They just like to hear certain stuff, which no, you know no. when we were uh, doing the commercials, I, I spoke to them as a friend. <laughs> and well, they had you a... know. You've been working television a long time, like I have, and you know there's certain things you can do to, in an audience or in a club that you can't do on television, and people will laugh at it. And, it's on, and, it, and not only that, I agree with it. Yeah, you got to have Because when I work in a saloon, I have a sign outside that says, no children allowed. True. And, and that don't mean just uh, under 18 or under 21 or something like that. That yeah. means if you got a mind like a child, uh, go somewhere and frolic with a horse. Don't bother me. <laughs> frolic with a horse? Yeah, you know, jump around and about. They know what I mean. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. What, what, may I ask you what this is? Is that yours? It's mine, yeah. That's a purse. It is a purse. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you the truth, it's like you know, my wife is in business nowadays, yeah. and uh, and she's an interior designer, and, all. and, she's and very I don't good. see as much as I. Yeah, she does some terrific. Sherry stuff, does right? good work. Yeah, and and so I don't get to talk to too many people, but when I get a purse like this, and I walk on the Sunset Strip, I meet a million people. And <laughs> I have a lot of friends to chat with, but of course I'm embarrassed now to mention that. My wife bought me this because I'm not supposed to wear it with this coat and this pants. She bought me a blue and white one oh, to wear with this. Oh, that's nice. Then Jimmy Darren's wife bought me a black patent leather one to wear with a tuck. And I have all different purses. <laughs> and uh, I have a canvas bag to wear with sneakers. Uh, that's classic. <laughs> That'll go nice with the pearls. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, you, do you feel awkward walking around with it? There's nothing wrong with it. No, it feels nice, especially what I got inside here. I, I, I don't think I want to ask. I don't know why I say that, but I don't think I want to know. Well, what I got inside is really doesn't have any kind of fairy-like quality. Oh, well, that's good. 
Yeah, I got in here 54 45 caliber bullets. Um, this may seem like a dumb question, but why? Why what? Why? Why do you have 40? Uh, 54 45 caliber four, bullets? Four, 54 or 445. Because 45 is 45, and 54 is 45 reversed. But you have 54 45s. Yes. So that's the same two numbers turned around. Yeah, I can follow that. Uh, and a bag has two sides. So you get 54 45. Why do you have them in there? Why do I have the bullets in here? Well, I'm not allowed to carry a gun. <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. But you take well, that makes this sense. with them bullets, and you hit somebody a shot in the back of the neck, you don't need no gun. You're right. <laughs> Especially Nobody. when someone says, hiya, fruity pie, you just give a little shot in the back. Of them, yeah. Who and when they wake up, they're in the oven baking. What? <laughs> What were you doing 11 years ago? 11 years ago? Yeah. What year was that? This is 1965, 60, so that was 1954 then. No, that was 62. It was 1962? Yeah. 11 years ago, it would be 62. 1962. I was engaged. Oh, come on now. You were married then. Oh, yeah, I was married too, but that's why I don't want That's why I hate for this to get out. <laughs> Well, this is our anniversary show. What do you care? Well, what I, 1962. Were you ever engaged to any girl before you married uh, Sherry? Yes. I was a married. I was engaged. You want to know who I, You know Larry Gelbart? Sure, the writer. I was engaged to his sister. Oh. Marsha. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, neither did Marsha, so what the hell? <laughs> you wanted to marry her? No, oh, yeah. I was engaged to Marsha. Which... With a ring and everything? I had the. I had, was in New York, and I bought the ring. And I called her, and I said, guess what? And she said, I've got a ring. I said, how did you know? She said, I'm wearing it. I said, I bought it here in New York. She said, no, I got it from a guy here in California. And oh. at that point, I had a feeling that I was no longer engaged. <laughs> Were you brokenhearted? Mm, I don't know if I was brokenhearted or not. I really, I didn't eat both eggs that morning. What? You were just kind of half, uh, yeah. yeah, half and half. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were serious, I was half, I... Yeah, that's a true story. And yeah. It's funny for you to ask me that because I know tonight I'm going to be sitting home and this show's going to come on and my wife's going to say to me, is that true? And I'm going to say, is what true? And she what you're saying over there. And I'm going to say, do I know what I'm saying when I'm drinking? <laughs> <laughs> So then you met Sherry after that. No, I, I oh. met, well, so that, 19, I was engaged to that girl in 1953. But you, you've told me before when we sat around well, and 52. talked that you, you didn't have a lot of girlfriends when you were well, I young. had very few girlfriends. Yeah. Girls, I never appealed to girls. Yeah. No, I, I used to say to a girl, hi. And next thing I knew, a cop was hitting me with something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or I, I would go in the library and say to a girl, can I help you find a book? And then she, they would, I, they would take away my card. <laughs> just you know, I, I was not that kind of. Were you, I, shy, were you shy? I wasn't shy, no. But just, I didn't just didn't do good. That's all. Yeah. You know, I never was. I mean, if you want to write a big sexual thing about my life, a, th a thorosis, thesaurus, a thesaurus, yeah. thesaurus. One of those. Yeah. You could do it on the back of a flypaper. Not, not much sexual. No, not, not much. No. Until you got married. Including. <laughs> including. <laughs> well, we only have three children. We, we just happen to hit each time. <laughs> I always tried to get out of it. Yeah, I know, I like to... I like to put you in a corner and then see if you can find your way out of yeah. what you start to talk about. Uh, yeah. You always come up with something. You know. You, you ever draw a blank uh, where you... Uh, are we still on the same subject? Did you have something else? No, but when you said you always come up with something. That was, that was a bad choice of words, wasn't it? Uh, it might have been a bad choice of words, but I think that you selected them perfectly. No, I did not. No. 
No, oh, I did not. No. Sweet face, don't I know you better than these folks? <laughs> no, I didn't. You know I don't work like that. No. I remember one night, me, you, and Ed <laughs> went to Danny's Hideaway. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. <laughs> and Time for at commercial, the end of the night, <laughs> At the end of the night, Danny said, you can come with Ed, and Ed can come with me, and you can come with me, and I can go with Ed. But the three of us together, he never wants to see again. <laughs> yeah, it was one of those nights, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. We have to, uh, <laughs> we have to cut away. There's nothing sexual in that either. After a word from one Not of our sponsors. No, I mean, yes, that's what I meant. <laughs>